look. Oh, awesome. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultima Underworld. Ah, journey onward. Avatar. So, I have been obviously moving since last time. Um, just to show you what I've been up to. I have cleared up the map quite a bit. There are some parts that you can't clean, like this section over here because if you wander off that gold path, you get killed. And I th I'm not sure what's up with these spots, but I've tried looking into it before in-game while we were streaming, and I can't figure out how to clean those up. Uh, so other than that, I believe we are more or less done with this floor. Also, I found out, actually, you don't only use the shrines the amount of levels you have. You apparently have a pool of points, and it grows probably with every level. And we can actually still use the shrine. So, we need to sit here and have a little chat with the shrine, because we have some new uh, skills that we need to talk to it about. And also, apparently, I must have forgotten that I had another thing for another mantra. Because I completely forgot that we found uh, USPOR, which is U-U-S space P-O-R. And it actually very bluntly tells you that it's a mantra for jumping. So we don't even need to use that. We don't need to like figure out what that is. But we can just use it. Oh, and I'm messing it up. Type in one hand while I'm holding the nuts. That is not a mantra. I could have sworn that worked last time. Hmm. I'll look into that. Anyway. Other mantras we have gotten is Lu, L U. Knowledge and understanding fill you. You have advanced greatly in search. Apparently some of these side stats, uh, from what I've been told now that I've been looking around a little bit, are, like, pretty much generally considered to be useless. Like, I think to some small degree search is useful, but I think most of it is up to the player to actually pay attention when they see wall glitches in order to detect hidden passages instead of having to rely on the game randomly giving you footing notes when you get near something. Alright, so that's search. Ra, R, A. Knowledge and understanding have fill you. You have uh, advanced gre uh, greatly in attack. So that's attack. So that's going to be extremely useful. That uh, raises our ability to hit enemies with any weapon. So we no longer need to struggle finding the attack bonuses. Writing these down as we go. So we're gonna keep that one. Save game. And Hun, <laughs> VC's uh, replying which each one of these are. H U N N. Knowledge and understanding for you. You have advanced greatly in appraise. Um, 
This is it, one of the most extremely useless skills, apparently. If I'm not mistaken. Let me double check, though. Because if it is what I think it is... Appraise is the ability to judge whether or not a uh, trade is uh, worth it. And apparently, <laughs> now that I've done some research, trading with other people for goods is useless. You get ripped off. Which, I guess, that means that I was totally in my right as a person on the outside looking in, going after that dwarf to get my money back. Um... Uh, Under war. You have advanced greatly in everything useless as fuck. He <laughs> says so Zeeksy. Um... Yeah, let me see here. Let me double check. I want to check what it does. It's supposed to be appraise. Skill using the skill the avatar can engage if he she is making a good or bad deal while trading with someone. Yes, absolutely worthless. <laughs> Writing down what it is though so I don't use it later. And my pen is trying to run out of ink on me again. There we go. Yes, uh, out of all these uh, new single mantras, the attack one is the only useful one, which is why we're going to go load back to us getting that one. Uh, restore game. And then we have the big three. And actually, that's right, I was trying to figure out what is jumping again. That's weird. I could have sworn that thing said it was a mantra and it seems to be bullshit. Do the one where you subtract the best. Mm. Subtract the bet? Oh, um, you mean for this? That's the magic spell. Um, scribble, 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 scribble. I think you're talking about the magic spell, and I believe that's I B, and you get rid of the M at the end. Yeah, because if you look at the spells, it looks like an I B and an M. And you get rid of the M that uh, tells it to be a small version of the spell. Um. Yeah, 
I, I remember that from last time, and yes, I'm like, yeah, this is how you do it. It's uh, the IB, which is heal and self, and you get rid of the M, which is small, and it's just heal self, essentially. Um, but that's for spells, not for mantras. So, speaking of mantras... We still apparently have enough points that we could use. Don't need search, don't need appraise. We did attack, let's do another attack. Actually, you know what? Let's just get the physical one. Sumra. Unarmed axe and defense. Ooh, awesome, defense. That means uh, we take less damage. I will save that because that was totally worth it. Let's do this again. Don't need the others random abilities. Anything we need, maybe acrobatics for better jumping, but that's about it. Um, the other one that we should use, Mu'am. For more magic. Advance in lore and casting. So they'll check what's lore and casting. Lore. Allows Avatar to identify objects. Yes, awesome. And casting. The skill uh, essentially raises the chance of successfully casting a spell that also is a protection against spell failure and backfires, which is the worst that could happen. So, alright, cool. Um. So actually, that is actually some handy stuff too. So let's save that. Can we do it again? <laughs> Try Fustora. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Fusro da. Nanda Matra. <laughs> Um, it's uh, oh, yeah, it's the Skyrim shout. Um, trying to decide what else I want to try. I think I'm doing another Sumra again. Advanced in Missile, Unarmed, and Defense. Awesome, as long as we keep getting Defense up, I'm fine with that. That gives us more chances of survivability. No, there's, we can't do these as many times as we want. There's actually a certain number of skill points we can use, depending upon uh, what level we're at. We can just keep using the, these mantras, though, until we run out of points, essentially. Um, let's do another attack. That's greatly an attack. Yeah, I don't know the official number either, but that's just why we just keep using it until that we get the message that we can't learn anymore. You are not ready to advance. There we go. We have run out of uh, mantra uses. Alright. Save game. 
I feel ready. Well, also, I was doing some research and sadly, found out but uh, ranged weapons are useless in this game. Keeping an extra weapon around because it could be useful, but otherwise, yeah, you must have just saved the space. And he does also stop collecting food because seriously, we need to get power through this corn and this chicken. We have so much of it. I feel so ready. Well, today we venture off to a new zone. Uh, take a left, and then a right, and then follow the rest of the way. I screwed it up somewhere. Okay, I think I got it this time. Keep going. just literally ended up back where I came from. Alright, yeah, those are going up. So there we go. Finally. Something around in there, I don't know where it is. Anyway, we have multiple uh, ways to go down to the next floor. Well, that reminds me. Um, can we finally identify what these potions are? Magical red potion. That doesn't tell me much. See a red potion. See a green potion. Vial of ale. Flask of port. And that's about it. All it's telling me. Actually, you know what? These don't even belong here. These belong in the food bag. Chicken for days. Magical red sounds better than just red. True, but that still doesn't tell me exactly they are. That seems to be my number one issue, is I can't seem to identify things without maybe doing the silly old take a save and then drink it and see what happens routine. Um, alright. We go straight north, or we can head south back towards the dwarves, and in either case, it's a horse apiece, and we go into the stairs into the next floor. I say we might as well just head south. I know exactly where everything is over here, because we've been down here long enough. Yeah, it did advance in lore, and it doesn't seem to have helped with identifying those items. It must be a hard difficulty or something. Alright. Plunk, here we are. Third floor. Blue 
blue liquids all over the floor. Hmm. Some leeches. Put those away in case we need them eventually. Some more broken stuff, some plant life. I'm going to assume that these are for unlocking that door. Don't know what to do with that door, so we'll look around and see if we find some notes or something about that. No. Oh. Hmm. Whoa. not me he's the one that's filling his lore checks Seem to be failing his combat checks, though. Yeesh. Very big room. We need to check every corner, as far as I'm concerned. Run across. Oh, is this all tied together? We feel silly for going the hard way. Still in big room. Dang big. It is trying to stretch as far north as it can all of a sudden. Hmm. Oh, hi.
just keeps on going and going and going. It's crazier than the Energizer Bunny at this point. Checking the side wing to see where it's taking us. Oh, hello. Ragged scrolls never steered me wrong. Oh. Apparently I have night vision now. Oh, there's the other entrance, which reminds me. Also, I'm wondering, oh yeah, I think that actually, uh, I think that actually the, uh, the map reveal must depend upon how much you can actually literally see as the, uh, character. Because I've been, if you remember, I've been using a lot of candles up until recently, so I'm thinking torchlight helps you see farther, and whatever I cast on that scroll is now letting me see, like, way, way farther than I normally get to. So it's helping me reveal more map a lot easier. And to be honest, that makes actually a lot of in-game sense. Full lantern. Oh, awesome. Finally, a freaking lantern. Worn helmet. Is 
sense, wasn't it? Yeah, I have no knowledge of what incense would even be good for. As much as it pains me, I think we're going to have to toss this because it's just too heavy and I don't think it, there's any actual use for a musical instrument in the game. Happy Frog, says Vixie. Um... No, what? Screw it. I'm, I'm actually kind of wondering why I even have this around. Yeah, it's heavy, it's clunky, and I don't even use it regularly. Oh, great. Too heavy to pick up. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Is there a reason to keep the fishing pole? Oh, did I just... I just canceled the spell. Didn't realize what that was until I clicked on it. That's a good question. Uh, Ultima Underworld Fishing Pole. Fishing Rod. Fishing rods are a simple manufacturer and can generally provide a reliable food supply for a single fisherman. In times of need, they can be even function as makeshift weapons, so they are made are uh, miraculously inferior to instruments designed for actual combat. In Ultra Underworld 1 and 2 installments, a fishing rod may be manufactured by combining a pole with some thread. It's tool to use to catch fish. So pull. Yeah, I'm going to say we want to keep it just in case, like, for some reason, food goes, uh, trying to find food goes south and we really are in a pinch for something to eat. Um, we don't need the pole right now, but that's, like, practically weightless. Two different sets of torches. Somewhat used. And hardly used. Okay. We're 
kind of burning through the somewhat used ones, so they shouldn't take nearly as long and should go pretty quickly. Um, don't want to toss away gems and shinies because they're gems and shinies. Resilient sphere. Actually, what do those do? Resilient spheres are bouncy red orbs that appear in Ultima Underworld series. Resilient spheres will bounce when thrown. Though their exact use has puzzled many an adventurer, these strange items can be found in Britannia, Stygian Bliss, and they appear in the great abundance on the stage world of Tauros. Uh, uh, spheres up here, there may be a reference to his own game, Dungeon Spires. One of the earliest objects to be placed in the game were large red bouncy balls that, according to the creator, spent a significant amount of time manipulating these such as they would fill the castle map before any other player appeared and stabbed them. So, apparently, these are worthless. Oh, and the torch just went out. I think there's another one in here, wasn't there? Um, as I was saying before, we're burning through these torches. other than green potion. Fine, whatever. We'll just take it for now. Gear, just in case we are looking for something later. There. But for now, we got what is supposed to be better armor. And... We have uh, more than enough stuff at the moment, so let's move on. Pal. Don't rock the boat. Yeah, yeah, ding, 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 ding. Come closer. You, your little beeping sound effect. I dare ya. Oh, here's this one.
I don't have any other keys. I really need to learn the lock picking skill. Hi. Red Lizard Man. Becca Scrock. Becca to thee also. Tossa. Your shark click to have I have no clue. Should I cheat and just look up what this guy's saying, or should we uh, just try to guess? what to reply to this guy. Uh, well, let's just look it up. Uh, yeah, sure. Lizard man language. Vika, hello and goodbye. Tosha. You? Yeah, sure. You friend Peppa. You friend of Lizardman? Uh am I a friend of Lizardman? Um sure. I'm friendly with anybody who doesn't want to make a, a mess of my face, and I'll mess up anybody who tries otherwise. You friend... You friend Seavery. Nope. 
Who is that? Tasha click yash click Tasha sore. You know You know friend You know, friend, you... Enemy. Oh, great. Uh, oh, no, it's, uh, I got an option. No. This, I'm pretty sure he called you a tosser. <laughs> Uh, Isily. Um, me friend, yes, sir. Good. <laughs> Good, would you like, would you like to barter? Why? Why is the only option to talk to him for their to barter? Uh, that's nice. Excuse me, please. I'm not really learning anything out of this guy, other than they want me to go right into bartering with him for no reason. But okay, so that's what his name is. Sethari. Hide down there. If I could. You yeah, have some interesting friends down there. Back up to you, the also. You friend, this man. Yes, I guess so. Is right back to the same spot again. So yeah, this guy's pointless. Dang it. These other lizard men have left, or are pretty much leaving. locked. I'd yet to have any keys for this floor. That's locked too. Actually before I venture off too far.
はいそう。Friggin' dialogue again. All these lizard, red lizard men just repeat the same stuff. Locked door. Dang it. Find a lot of dead ends. One big open floor, the third floor. I have like four different keys, VXC, but none of them are for this floor. It seems to me that just about every floor has their own variant of two different keys, and you have to find them first before you can start unlocking things. We might have to backtrack and check out like what this side tunnel is here and stuff. We don't find anything else. It's almost getting to the point where I'm almost considering that tossing up the old keys might be the best plan right now. Might save weight, although I'm not sure by how much. Stuff too. Ooh, one of the green ones. They got to the also. Seems 
like the same dog log again. Yes. I guess so. Can I just excuse me, please? Dang it. All of these lizard men all repeat the same stuff. See a mellow green lizard man named Sithari. Oh. Yes, the popular Sithari. Um, uh, greetings. Oh, gosh, you friend. Friend, you know me. I'm sorry, I can't understand thee. Does thou speak my language? Uh, oh, the bomb one, number four. Yes, short click. Oh, my. Um, friend, visit. Mergo. Mergo. Help. You. Mergo. So you enemy No I'm not
Yeah. Um. Finally got through that. It, my dyslexia is like absolutely terrible, and I'm trying to figure out this language. Tosa, you friend. Me, Safari, Safari friend. Me, Safari, you. Uh, me friend. Me friend, you? Me. Me, as, as a help, you, yes, yes, Mergo, enemy, Mergo. Steal food. Ooh. Mergo enemy, Mergo steal food. Thess. Hate. Thepa. Hate lizard men, lizard men kill Murgo. Uh, who's Murgo? Assistant of Hunter Owl in the Abyss. When the Avatar met that Owl in the sixth level of the Abyss, he revealed that he knew where to find the Wine of Compassion, but would only reveal it should the Avatar manage to safely turn his missing assistant, Mergo. The Avatar found the mute man in the prison of the Lizard Man on the third level, prison for food theft. He first had to give the starving man some food before he'd be of any help. So essentially, he's asking us if we if we should kill the assistant of a mage on the sixth floor, which we haven't even met yet. Please don't. Tosa Stella. You give food you give food me me give Mergo you oh 
I have some right here. enough mean though sorry here's more It's Murgo. Um, but I was trying to figure out who the character was. And it's like, uh, and it's related to a story we haven't even bumped into yet, so technically we're trying to solve a storyline early. And I'm trying to figure it out because this has been baffling me before. What's my underworld? How do I give items to NTCs? showing the same process he's used to give our show items for example we want to offer someone a gift to do this you must have a highlighted item in your barter area when you click the menu line I wish to give you this gift the character may take the item okay so I need to have it highlighted somehow oh, oh. Oh, so they want even more still. How about we just give them all the corn, too? Wow, that cleared up a lot of space. Thank you. Goodbye. Apparently they like corn, though. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, so he opened the door.
I need to get out of the doorway so I can talk to him. Anytime you're ready to get out of the way, hi. He looks at you with a wild joy in his eyes and launches into a mad uh, capering dance of joy. Then he turns to you and signs his thanks. Go now and steal no more. Farewell and enjoy thy freedom. You see him scamper off down the hall. <laughs> uh, and that ends that. Okay. So we'll bump into him again later. I think the the last couple of bits of ending dialogue have gone by too fast for me to read them. Um, that makes me mention I didn't read something. Door is locked. Doors are always locked here. So, we bumped into a whole bunch of crazy stuff, and we helped free a wizard. I think, however, we are at about an hour? We should be relatively close, I think. And we're kinda at a point where we just have to go completely all the way back. <laughs> After the trade. Yeah, I didn't get to really, uh, yeah. I don't think I really got to read that. Yeah, I think the only option we've got right now is to actually go back. Actually, did I even check the other door here? Let's double check. Oh. Some more I haven't looked at too, apparently. Alright. Oh! Do, doing hanging out here with a bat. Bandit, halt! Who approaches? It is merely I, Avatar. What does thou seek, Avatar? I seek information and trade. I seek the Baron's daughter. Of this I know nothing. Be gone with thee. Fare thee well, kind sir. Thank you for being a load. <laughs> Flack Reed, storage room west. And I guess this is storage room east. Yep. <laughs> Hi there. Rodents of unusual size. Was thinking about having a break, but then things keep happening. Oh. Oh, that can't be good. Hi. Well, you want to pick a fight? You came to it, brigand. Worn longsword, what do you got here? Badly worn longsword, how about no? Oh, this is the passageway where we first came from. 
the three buttons and everything. Torch for the bag. All right. So yeah, I guess uh, since we found full circle in this level, it's pretty much the best time to call it. So that's gonna be it for tonight, folks. Thank you all again for very much for watching me and joining in on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching this on Twitch, either live or in the vods, you can always follow the channel so you can catch us next time we stream. Um. There this evening, I'll be doing Lord of the Rings online, and then we'll be coming back to this next week on either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how busy Wednesday is. Um, but that'll be it for now, um, and I will see you all later, and thank you again, Vixie, for joining me in the chat. Also, if you want to help out further than just helping get more views, you can also help by either subscribing to my Twitch channel, or you can also join either the Patreon or the Streamlabs and send donations to help out the show as well. That's all for now. Have a good night. Oh, I just realized there's ups and down arrows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for the most part, they seem to match up. Alright. Mm, VC says he has to run to the kitchen. Anyway, save.